What's up and welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Eddie. I'm still addicted to Marvel Snap and it's time for us to look at another character set of variants and rank them from worst to best. You guys can hear the song right now. It is a new season in Marvel Snap, which means we got a new season pass card with a new theme and a bunch of new stuff as well. Today, we're looking at Miss Marvel, the season pass card. She has released with a bunch of variants already data mine, which is very exciting. So we're going to have a good time with this video. As always, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe because we talk variants and a bunch of other stuff of Snap all the time. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up to help with the algorithm and comment down below your ranking of the, Mar uh, the Miss Marvel variants. All right, let's jump right into it, everybody. Uh, Miss Marvel is the newest card. She is a four energy, five power card. And her ongoing is that adjacent locations where your cards have unique costs have plus five power. Now, at the time of recording, the card has been released for 25 minutes. So I don't actually know if she's any good or not. I haven't played yet. Uh, so you'll have to let me know in the comments what you guys think of the card so far. And I'll let you guys know in my next video what I think. But I haven't had the chance to play with it yet. But it seems like a fun card overall. So very excited. I'm going to probably try with some kind of like lockdown control deck i feel like you can storm a location professor x another location and because there's going to be unique costs in there you jump in there with a miss marvel at the end and hopefully get a surprise little buff to it that's what i'm thinking so we'll have to see all right now on to what we actually do which is rank the variant so we've got one two three four five six seven eight variants for miss marvel that is very very exciting to have a new card come out with so many variants they're not already all out in the game they're going to come out over time but it's still a very good time so let's do it first one up is the pixel it is awful <laughs> i hate it it is not good um i yeah i just i really don't like this and this is just another bad one i will say i think the um the avatar is hilarious <laughs> So at least there's that, I guess. It's going to be a 700 gold on November 23rd. So near the end of the month. I just, I don't like this one, man. I guess, no, I'm not a big fan of the pixel variants. And this is just another bad one. So I don't know. Oh, before I forget, if you guys like these videos, the ranking stuff, I have a full playlist of a bunch of cards. And comment, what are the cards you guys want me to do? One day, one day, we're going to complete the series and have every single card variant ranked. But we're not there yet. Okay. Then we got the one by Ryan Gonzalez. Really, really like this one. Looks like a very clean drawing. Like that a lot. I like the little pixelated plane in the corner there and the little cat in the background. But Miss Marvel, I love the art style on this one. Very, very cool. Big fan of Ryan Gonzalez's art. And this is an excellent one. This is coming out tomorrow or today at the time of you guys watching this video for 1,200 gold. So I'm up. I, I like this one. Pretty simple, but at least there's a background. There's some stuff going on. But I like the art. Next up, we got the one by Edward Petrovich. I hope I said that right. Very cool. Very cool, actually. I like this one a lot. In action, Miss Marvel here on the train. Uh, like in the wind, everything. I'm curious to see what this one's going to look animated. But I do like this one. We don't actually have a release date. But we do know it's going to be 1,200 gold for this one. Well, data mined for 1,200 gold. So we'll see. But I like this one. Very, very cool that it's in action. Love the that the artwork has a lot going on. You can see Miss Marvel in her abilities, kind of like uh, Mr. Fantastic, and lots of background to it as well. This is going to be one of those cards that I don't feel like it's going to look that good with the gold back because it's going to take away a lot of it. But with the art and everything, very cool. All right. Next up. Oh, this is a good one. Margaret Sauvage. I don't think we've ever seen any art from this artist before. This is the first I've heard of Margaret. Um, maybe they have another art in the game, but this is awesome. Love the breaking of the glass here background is kind of lame but everything else about it is very cool love how she looks drawn here and the comics in the corner oh that's a very good one then we got george molina uh, another pretty good one not really my style i'm not a big fan of like the art the realistic faces um i've seen it in a bunch of other stuff where i just feel like the art just always looks a little weird when the faces are like trying to be as real as possible and this is just another one that just doesn't really do it for me. You can see here, I'm not a big fan of it. And it's pretty pretty simple, right? Just superpose on top of the roof. It's it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm sure some people like it. It's just not for me. Next up, we got the Peach Momoka one. This is the one in the season pass. If you get to level 50 and you buy the pass, you'll get this one. Look, I love Peach Momoko. This is not one of my favorite ones. I feel like I, I really like the ones that Peach Momoko has to focus on the face and like the transition. This one being focused on the hand is a little bit weird where that's the, the fist takes up more than everything else. Um, it's fine. It's good. I like Peach Momoko stuff, but it's not their best work in my opinion. And it's in the season pass though, so at least there's that. Then we got the Dan Hip one. I like this one. Love the colors. I really like a lot of the colors. Uh, Dan Hip can be hit or miss for most people. I'm kind of 
also hit or miss. This is a hit for me. I like this one. Um, again, pretty simple though, but uh, I, I really like the focus on the colors on this one. Lots of it's very bright. Um, fingers being large like that is kind of weird, but you know, that's just a personal thing. And last but not least is a Edward, another one by Edward Petrovich. This one's really cool, actually. Very different from everything else we've seen. I, um, I've always talked about this in a bunch of my other videos, so if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. I love variants where they take a character and drastically change everything about them. And this is what this variant does. The background's a bit lame. There's not much going on outside of the green, but the art for this card is incredible. And that are all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight variants. Now it's the hard part. We got to rank them. So while I do this, make sure to tell me in down below what your ranking is for these variants. Uh, I'm going to put this one a bit lower. This one's going to go... Hmm, I think I want to put this one, put that one there. I'm going to put this one down here like that. Oh, I think I'll put this one there. We'll do that. And I'm going to put that one there. Okay, here's my ranking. Now, as always, this is just a for fun ranking, right? Uh, it's not a big deal. It's just basically my order and my preference of which ones I will buy. Um, not necessarily an official, like this is the best and worst variant. It's all subjective, obviously, because it's art. But these are the ones that I would buy or not buy from the variants. I'd love to know what you guys think. So my least favorite is the Pixel one. I will definitely not buy this one. No interest in it. If I get it in a pass, uh, in a box, I'd be pretty upset as well overall. Just zero interest. I really don't want this one. My number seven is the one by George Molina. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of the realistic side of it. And also, it's kind of boring. Like, not much going on. Just superhero pose on the building. Like I said... Not anything exciting happening here. So this is another one that I don't really want. Uh, my number six is actually the Peach Momoko one. This one's fine. Like I said, I kind of wish it had more going to it. Love the background. Love everything that's happening. But it's it's kind of simple. Like, I don't know. I, I wish there was more focus on the character. So again, a bit on the lower end, which is very disappointing because it's the season pass one. Uh, next up is the Dan Hip. That is 876. This is my number five. The Dan Hip one. Love the colors. Love the art. Um, love that there's a bit more focus on the character than the previous ones. But again, there isn't much going on on the background or anything like that. So a bit lower. Number four is the Ryan Gonzalez. I say from here onwards, I like all of these ones and I would try and get them if I can. Uh, really like the colors on this one. Again, it's a bit simple for the pose, but there's more going on in the background and everything. And I, I just really like Ryan Gonzalez's art in general. So this is a good one for me. Number three onwards are all, I think, really good, and I will go out of my way to buy these ones. The first one is the Edward Petrovich. Um, again, love that you can see the character in the action pose. Lots going on here. Love this one. I feel like even animated, it's going to look really good. I just love that there's more to just the character and their abilities being shown, but also a really cool uh, action pose and the background to it. My number two is Margaret Sauvage. Really, really like the coloring on this one. Love the pose, love the glass shattering and everything, but it's just shy of being my number one because I feel like the background, there should be a little bit more. So that leaves, what's my number one? You guessed it, the other one by Edward Petrovich. Excellent, they took a character, drastically changed him. Does not look completely at all like the original Miss Marvel card, which I like a lot, and this is very cool of a variant. And that, everybody, is my ranking of the Miss Marvel variants. What do you guys think? Are you liking the car? Which one are you going to buy? Which one do you not like? Tell me everything in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Love you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.